to the coronavirus and a sense of deja vu in Santa Cruz County. Starting Monday morning, the county is bringing back its indoor mask mandate. It's all in anticipation of holiday gatherings to get ahead of a possible winter surge. The mandate applies to everyone, regardless of vaccination status. In addition to public spaces, the mandate also calls for people to wear masks inside their homes when members of another household visit. Our other big headline this evening, U.S. takes the final step to open COVID-19 booster shots to all adults. The director of the CDC endorsed the shot just hours ago. And joining us live now is Dr. George Rutherford, epidemiologist at UCSF. Dr. Rutherford, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks a lot for having me. Now, with the CDC giving the final green light, do you believe that will drive more Californians to go out and get that shot? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, we're eliminating a lot of confusion about who who's eligible and who's not eligible. It's basically anyone who's 18 and over who's had an mRNA vaccine six months ago or earlier. Now, do you anticipate us needing a booster shot every year, every six months? We're going to need another one until they develop That's a, a different vaccine. That's a tough question. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're going to. I think that's a wait and see kind of question. Uh, I suspect what will happen is at some point we'll need boosting for adolescents, 12 to 17 year olds, and maybe even for younger kids. But you know, after they get three doses in, it may it may last uh, much longer than uh, than we think. So it remains to be seen. Unfortunately, I can't answer the question straight up. I want to get a little bit of clarification on mixing and maxing, matching yeah. vaccines. I know today I was out getting a woman who works for us trying to help her get a booster shot. And a lot of the different pharmacies didn't necessarily have all of the different brands. And they asked if she would be wanting to get a different brand other than the ones she got originally. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Do you, do you advise people to do that? Do you think that's a good idea? Or if you can't get the same brand, go ahead and get that. I think if you can get the same brand, go ahead and get it because you you know you know you know what the side effects are from it. I think if you get it, uh, if you've had Pfizer, you can get Moderna. If you have Moderna, you can get Pfizer without any real particular uh, risk. If you've gotten J and J, uh, I would recommend that you get either Moderna or Pfizer, and rather than a second J and J shot. But that's just what the data say right now. Uh, the recommendation is that you can also get a J&J &J shot. So I think mixing and matching is not a big deal between the two mRNA mm -hmm. uh, shots. And if you got J&J, &J, I think either the two M mRNAs, uh, either Pfizer or Moderna, are perfectly adequate. So California is seeing an uptake in COVID cases. Now we're hearing about a possible winter surge. Bay Area vaccination rates so far pretty good. So what do you expect to yeah. see as people gather for the holidays? They're going to be traveling as we saw. Do you think it's going to yeah. be as bad as it was last year? No, I don't think it's going to be as bad as last year. I think it's, you know, we're actually not, we're actually pretty flat. Uh, as a uh, as a state right now, and the Bay Area is pretty flat in terms of new cases, so I think I'm actually quite encouraged by that. If you look back uh, to last year, last November, by this time there'd been a, you know, more than a, a hundred percent increase in cases between November 1st and November 18th. This year, there's actually been a slight decrease because there was kind of a higher peak in in November. We've, we're leveling off, but it's at a relatively higher rate, um, and. You know, hopefully that's that'll be the pattern that lasts through the winter, and that's going to be a comp, that's a direct consequence of the high levels of vaccination that we have. Do you have any tips for folks who are gathering through the holidays in terms of staying safe? If you're not quite sure who's vaccinated, sure. who is it? Maybe some yeah, the really little guys aren't eligible to be vaccinated right. yet. Any tips for that? Sure, I think that the you know the, to start with, smaller is better. Mm -hmm. uh, Outdoors is better than indoors. Uh, Thanksgiving Day, by the way, it's supposed to be 66 in Oakland and clear. So I'm thinking, oh, well, that'll be good. They'll solve that problem right there. <laughs> uh, and I, I think it's just a, a kind of a question of, of of trying to you know trying to encourage vaccination. I know that some of the people uh, at Harvard have suggested you get everybody tested the day of the uh, the day of Thanksgiving uh, as a way of getting around this. I, I think that's probably overkill. Um, it, you know, maybe, maybe not. It depends on how many unvaccinated people are going to be there. If they're going to get a lot of people in from places where vaccination rates are low, um, then, you know, maybe. Uh, but I think it's perfectly reasonable for to ask people to not come if, they're un, if they haven't been vaccinated yet, with the exception, obviously, of the little kids. Right. All right, Dr. Rutherford, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Great information. Yeah. Take care.